In death, the thug had been promoted to messenger. Someone hadn't enjoyed the Don's hospitality. Someone with a flair for the dramatic. Someone who had let herself out of a locked cell and passed a couple of armed guards. My thoughts were on Mona again. I could only hope she was a good enough gambler to walk away while she was still winning, before she'd run into the trio. me long to run into the trio. Lisa Punchinello was that she was a bit of a witch. The tarot cards on the kitchen table fit the picture. They weren't my kind of cards, but I was willing to take a crack at the hand Mrs. Punchinello had dealt. The first card was the tower. Maybe that was supposed to be the manor. It got easy after that. The devil was the master of the house, and death was me coming for him.
was too late for her. You're a real angel, Max. I couldn't tell whether it was Mona or her sister. The body was a mess. The sick bastard had really gotten a kick out of it. Seeing her lying there got me thinking about another woman's body on another bed. Got me thinking about a fallen cradle. Chinello's trio was done for. Outside my door. Hurry. It's coming for me. You gotta hurry. Please. I could hear Punchinello on the phone begging for help. He should have been saying his goodbyes. Punchinello was a pushover. The moment I stepped into the room, he folded like a deuce before a royal flush. No, wait. I was just doing what I was told. I couldn't refuse. She's someone high up. Government, maybe. I don't know. He was trying to buy more sand for his hourglass. I wasn't selling any. No, I told him nothing. <laughs> Game over. I could tell when I was outgunned. It was time to take another beating. The mystery witch was a real barracuda. Trouble in dagger heels, a smoking assault rifle in her hand, and an army of killer suits behind her. How sweet. I get to kill two birds with one stone. Sooner or later, it was going to catch up with you. Mr. Payne. It's time to show you the benefits of my brew. Be a good boy now. You'd find that Lady Luck was really a hooker. Ah! You were fresh out of cash. <laughs> Gentlemen, we're done here. Take me to Cold Steel. She had just given me an OD of Valkyr. I could feel green fire eating my brains. They turned to steam. They did a fade on me. I'd never had a chance. The witch had got me just as sure as if she put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. The shadows rushed me. Bruised mugshot faces hungry for revenge. They knew my weak spots and closed in for the kill. The floor turned into a vortex of green blood. I fell. Where are you, Max? Please. 
The letter was staring at me. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a graphic novel. The truth split my skull open, a glaring green light washing the lies away. All of my past was just fragmented still shots, words hanging in the air like balloons. I was in a graphic novel, funny as hell. It was the most horrible thing I could think of. Call. Someone spouting insane babble, I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu, and the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. The weird piece of paper looked dangerous. There was something disturbingly familiar about the letter before me. The handwriting was all pretty curves. You're in a computer game, Max. The truth was a burning green crack through my brain, weapon statistics hanging in the air glimpsed out of the corner of my eye, endless repetition of the act of shooting, time slowing down to show off my moves, the paranoid feel of someone controlling my every step. I was in a computer game. Funny as hell, it was the most horrible thing I could think of. bad line in a prank call, someone spouting insane babble, I couldn't make sense of it. But I had an overwhelming sense of deja vu, and the caller's voice sounded oddly familiar. Max, 
Something happened at the office today. A strange memo. Something about Vikings. Honey, I gotta run. You can tell me all about it this evening. Have a nice day, darling. The bullet holes were rubies on her chest, blood glowing on her ivory skin. She was so beautiful. The killer was smiling. The flesh of fallen angels. Slowly, the green nightmare faded, leaving dark stains on my soul that would never come off. I felt like flatlining, all shook. I woke up in a cold sweat, sick and tired to the bone, lying in a puddle of my own puke. The hag had said, take me to cold steel before it had all gone crazy. It was a clue, the only one I had. It took me forever to crawl back to my feet and hit the road, but when I did, I drove straight to cold steel foundry outside the city. There was a whole lot of action around the place for a freezing winter night. Trucks coming and going, men running. I had the drop on the mystery witch. She thought I was dead. I was on her blind side. I was going in. The bad trip had put me in a crazy mood, adrenaline through my veins. Staggering on the mill roof in ice and snow and wild wind, I was a ninja. My kung fu was strong. I wasn't hitting anybody. At best, I was Superman on kryptonite about to fall through a skylight, down to where it was all going down. A half-abandoned industrial area in the middle of nowhere. The factory was a perfect front for any number of illegal activities. In the belly of the plant, molten metal boiled and bubbled like a witch's brew. Snow fell like confetti over the Devil's Parade. The storm was anything but over.
Can you believe it? I bet they sleep with their rifles. I bet they've given them names. I guess. So, you don't have a name for your gun? <laughs> Hello? Hell no. You do? Well, yeah, kind of. Hey, let's hear it. Well, I call it Dick Justice. I rest my case. I guess. So, you don't have a name for your gun? <laughs> Hello? Hell no. You do? Well, yeah. Hey, let's hear it. Well, I call it Dick Justice. Okay. Perimeter breached. The facility has been compromised. Repeat, the Deep Six has been compromised. Initiate Operation Dead Eyes. The walkie-talkie military lingo could mean only one thing. They were getting ready to destroy the evidence and vanish into the night. I was so close. The hidden truths were just around the corner. Mercenaries were running a tight operation, paperwork and all. Merchandise missing again. A chemist had tried to smuggle it out for his own private party. Locked him up in cell B7 and D6's old test facility to wait for proper processing. I was close enough to hear the secrets, just beyond the next doorway.
monitor showed me the way. Processing diagrams fill the control room screens, all but one. An elevator titled D6 on one of the screens, somewhere onwards, past rows of ovens, in the core of the plant. Processing diagrams fill the control room screens, all but one. An elevator titled D6 on one of the screens, somewhere onwards, past rows of ovens, in the core of the plant.
I had taken on the role of the mythic detective, Bogart as Marlowe, or as Sam Spade going after the Maltese Falcon to unravel all the mysteries. Following a path of clues to that final revelation, even if it would take me down to the cold, cavernous depths of a grave. You can't do this! My men are still inside! Do you have any idea why this is called Operation Dead Eyes? dead already. Let's do it. Attention all personnel. 
The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Evacuate the complex Keep immediately. That company. Proceed. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Proceed to the nearest exit immediately. Ah! I had seen the logo on the floor before. There was an old army bunker under the steel mill. I knew the military plaque on the floor. I had seen a thousand variations of the insignia on crumbling brick walls everywhere in the city. The sword replaced by a syringe. Project Valhalla. V for Valkyr. V for Valhalla. All of a sudden it read like a crackpot conspiracy theory. Like everything else in the Valkyr case, the door code was a mystery to me. Attention all personnel. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Proceed to the nearest exit immediately. had been using the workstation when he died. The half-life of the lab rat had ended online, his password blinking on the screen. 665, the neighbor of the beast. Decontamination in progress. Attention all personnel. The self-destruction decontamination initiated. Proceed to the nearest exit immediately.
Attention all personnel. The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Hey, in here! Hey! Get me out of here! I'm innocent! There! Let me out! Thanks! I thought I was gonna die in there for sure. I need you to get me through the decontamination chamber airlock. You're crazy! No way! The place is blowing up for Christ's sakes! Either that or back to the cell. Your choice. Okay, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. in the middle of the deadly web that was the Valkyr case. One of the lab terminals had the project logo on the screen. Top secret. Project Valhalla. U.S. Army. Yggdrasil Network. Valhalla, the otherworldly place in Norse mythology where the bravest heroes spent their afterlife feasting and fighting forever, their wounds miraculously healed night after night. Valkyr, the maidens who chose the most courageous Viking warriors and carried them to Valhalla. 1991, the research objective is to create a chemical substance to enhance the stamina and morale of infantry troops. 1995, Results unsatisfactory. Project canceled. Someone had decided to continue the sick experiment unauthorized. Project compromised. Data leak. Fix the damage by any means necessary. Security clearance red. Authorized by the project lead. Field test. Double the dosage for all the remaining test subjects. Observe and record the subject's behavior in an urban setting. The drop-off point was my old address in New Jersey. The file dated three years ago. Just when you thought you had reached the deepest depths of horror, it suddenly got worse. How to turn off that small voice inside your head that started to whisper that you should be glad that now, if not before, your revenge was justifiable on any conceivable moral scale. That small voice proved, beyond any doubt, that I was damned. dagger-heeled woman had come and gone a long time ago. There was nothing more for me here. The bunker's name was acting as a self-fulfilling prophecy.
piece together a jigsaw and the final picture is you finishing that same puzzle. A mad, green-eyed killer standing behind you. An urban legend come true. The Project Valhalla test subjects had been the mad junkies who had murdered my loved ones. The rest was simple body count math. It all pointed to her. Ms. Valkyr. The factory went up in a fiery inferno behind me. All my leads were dead, turned to smoke and dust. I had lost my way. I hadn't slept in a million years. I felt thin as death. I'd been living on an endless supply of weak old donuts. They were fuel for this crazy furnace inside my head. I couldn't remember when I had last seen the sun. I was on a permanent graveyard shift. When the darkness fell, New York City became something else, any old Sinatra song notwithstanding. Bad things happened in the night, on the streets of that other city, Noir York City. All night diner, downing cup after cup of coffee that tasted like engine oil, when a new message from BB got me back on the killer track. What the hell happened at Roscoe Street? Max, going out on a limb here. We need to talk this through, come up with a plan. 2.30 a.m., the Choir Communications Garage. The more I thought about Alex's murder in the frame-up, the more it felt like an inside job. I should have seen it coming. BB had sold me out, and now he wanted to finish what he'd started. The garage was dead. BB showed up in his tailor-made suit, gold watch, and cufflinks to match, all way beyond a cop's pay. Maxie. Oozing suave charm, he was guilty as hell. What the hell does BB stand for anyway? Backstabbing bastard? Come on, don't be like that, have a cigar. I don't smoke. Maxie, you have no idea how big this is. It's huge, you have no idea. I think I do. You're a bribe taken bent cop who sold out his pa- Those mobsters in the subway were a dead giveaway. Hard to miss. Bet it was exactly like this with Alex. Up close and personal. You can't win this one, Max. No, but I can make damn sure none of you do either. BB turned out to be another cardboard cutout bad guy. bad cop on the take, a cowardly right-hand man fleeing from the scene, leaving his paid thugs to do his dirty work.
fire at the Punchinello Manor in Westchester. The manor is the home of Angelo Punchinello, the alleged head of the Punchinello crime family. The police are now saying, contrary to their earlier statements, that Max Payne is still alive and at large. He continues his vendetta against the Mafia, of which this last act of arson is attributed to. I had no recollection of setting any fires, but I did remember the flames. phone started to ring. Yeah. Max Payne? Whatever does it for you. This is Alfred Wooden. I can give you the name of your enemy. Come to the Asgard building presently. We are expecting you. Woden was waiting for me on the steps of the old building. Mr. Payne, let's go inside. The others are anxious to begin. The others? 
Despite the general misconception, this building actually predates the city hall by two years, thus being the oldest municipal building still in use here at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge. No kidding. The old man played tour guide as he led me through a dark, domed hall. The answers I was after loomed large ahead. Mr. Payne, I would like to introduce you to my colleagues in what we call the Inner Circle. You've been watching too much X-Files. You have seen the files on Project Valhalla. We can fill the gaps, provide you with the missing from those files. We were all involved in the early stages of the project during the Gulf War. What's the cat? We would very much like to blow this thing wide open, but our hands are tied. Her name is Nicole Horn. She was the key figure in Project Valhalla. When was discontent, she simply refused to quit. She knew exactly what she had in Nicole Horn is the president of Acer Corporation. She has more than half the city in her pocket. This must be kept under wraps. If you try to go public, we will deny any knowledge. We need you to take her out. Afterwards, we can protect you, make all the charges go away. That was the cue for the killer suits to kick in the doors and swarm inside. Impressive floor show, but I decided to leave early anyway. It was only a one-story fall. Lucky me.